So everybody was living in Egypt. As slaves, the Israelites were growing in numbers after several hundred years, which seems like a good thing to Pharaoh, until he realizes, oh no, there are so many of God's people, they might all band together and stop doing what I tell them to do. <laughs> Pharaoh then comes up with a terrible and super sad idea. He decides to get rid of all the new baby boys that are born. So when Moses was born, his mom was like, my baby is too big to hide, so I'm gonna float him down the river, cause that seems safe. <laughs> And then Pharaoh's daughter finds the baby and says, Well, I guess you're mine now. So then Moses is a prince and then grows up and then realizes that his whole life was basically a lie. Wait. All these people my dad are mean to are actually my people. So then he had to run away from his Pharaoh dad into the wilderness, probably without snacks or a juice box, which was a huge mistake. So then Moses wanders around and eventually gets taken in by some people, gets married, settles down. Nice family. White picket fence situation. Except the fence is the wilderness and he's surrounded by stinky sheep. And then one crazy day, there's this bush, but it's on fire. But it's not on fire, but it is. But it's God, but it's a bush, but it's totally God. Also, fire. So God said, Moses, ah! you have to go back to Egypt. I don't like it. Okay, this way. So now he's there. Momo did the go-go. Pharaoh said, no, no. And then God said, plagues. Blood. Then frogs, too many. Plagues three and four. Bugs. Ah! 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 Help me. I don't know what hail means, but it happened. Ah! Six, a rash, but like worse than a bunch of other scary stuff that I haven't processed yet. And finally, Pharaoh said, get out of here and followed Moses right out of Egypt and through the Red Sea. So everyone packed up. What are you doing here? Pharaoh tried to change his mind, but God was like, smash, crash. Hope you bought your floaties. Then, million in the desert. Wilderness, hot, dry, thirsty. Oh, the Israelites grumbled. If only God had let us die in Egypt. Oh, get it together, man. What are you saying? God said, Moses, ah! I'm going to rain down food from heaven. Every day they can pick up as much as they need just for the day and no more. Enjoy. Then Moses climbed up and up and up a mountain. Got some rules to help the people, but they still acted. Cray cray. Fast forward. Go over there and tell me if you see any good stuff. This is good. Not so good. Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep wandering around then. And then Momo is no mo. Uh, perfect! We finally finished the longest road trip ever, and now even more walking. Go march around that city over there a bunch of times, even though things look crazy, and then a bunch of stuff happened that I didn't really pay attention to, but they got to the promised land, and that's the only really important thing you need to know. The end.